please take a moment to give this video a like subscribe to happy world and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories When Tiger first started showing up in Carol O'Connell's yard about three years ago, he wouldn't let her get anywhere near him. She could tell the senior cat was sweet, but he was scared. He would show up and then disappear for months at a time. Leanne Molicaro, executive director of the Dutchess County SPCA in New York, told the dodo. She fed him but couldn't get close to him for a long time. O'Connell works at the DC SPCA and has seen her share of nervous animals. So she knew if she was patient and kind tiger might come around eventually in the past three years O'Connell and her son Dan have worked hard to gain tigers trust Until the cat finally felt comfortable enough to approach them and even show them affection From the way he acted it seemed as if tiger may have had a home at some point on a whim O'Connell brought a scanner home from work to see if he was chipped and miraculously he was Overjoyed O'Connell told the shelter and they contacted the family listed on tigers chip John and Maggie Welts When the shelter spoke with the Welts's they couldn't believe what they were hearing tiger had been missing for 11 years When he was only three years old tiger had been spooked by something on Halloween night and somehow escaped his house and disappeared His family searched desperately and put up posters everywhere hoping someone would find him when they sold their house they asked the new owners to keep an eye out for him and continued their search from their new home but eventually they had to accept that tiger wasn't coming home his family had given up on finding him and we weren't even sure they'd want him again after all these years but once they got over the shock that he was still alive they didn't hesitate they wanted him back right away when the welts got the call 11 years later that tiger had finally been found they couldn't believe it either it was especially shocking how healthy tiger was considering how he'd been on his own he had an injured eye and a few skin issues and was underweight but otherwise tiger was totally fine some people have since come forward and said that they've been feeding him for a while over the years Melicaro said he survived because enough kind people in the community helped him though apparently no one was able to capture him and bring him to us earlier when he was finally caught by Carol and Dan he didn't resist and seemed happy to be touched and petted maybe he decided he'd lived on the streets long enough and wanted to come inside again as soon as she could Maggie Welts rushed over to the shelter eager to see her beloved tiger again no one had any idea if tiger would remember his mom or not as it'd been so long since they'd seen each other when Welts walked into the room and saw tiger she immediately rushed over and scooped him into her arms and it didn't take long for tiger to start cuddling her right back Tiger just looked at her sniffed her and then rested his head on her shoulder Melicaro said it was clear that he was not going to have any objection to having her be as human from now on Tigers now back home where he belongs and completely settled into life with his family again It's clear. He missed them so much and is taken to sleeping curled up with his mom every night His family thought they'd never see him again, but thanks to the kindness of their community He's finally home and they're so overjoyed to have him back safe and sound